in the currency quadrant, taking a look at the euro currency, the June euro currency down over 1% on the lows today and as of the new york close today is the worst day for the euro on a percentage basis since july 27th of last year the high today 108.96 half that was only up 12 basis points so a little bit more than a tenth of one percent i mentioned the low already today and as of the new york close we ended up down the day about 94 basis points, so just short of 1%. The euro completed its second straight session lower and is now down close to 3% for 2024. If the euro finishes down on the week, it will be the fourth week lower in the last five. US CPI was part of that push, higher than expected CPI, pushed the US dollar much, much higher. This is the third consecutive month of higher CPI figures in the US. Bond yields in the US went from down one to up double digits, and there were no real huge jumps in the US CPI other than motor vehicles. Basically, almost every category had slight increases, which is sort of a consistent rise in prices over the last three months in the US. I mentioned this is the third consecutive month of stronger CPI. That's not really a one-off. That feels much more like a trend, and that pushed the dollar higher, which obviously put pressure on the euro. Also, tomorrow, we have a European Central Bank rate meeting. Economists expect, expect the ECB to leave rates unchanged at the record high that they're at now, 4%. And EU inflation has been much more in check than US inflation, including two recent month-over-month -month figures that were negative. Both November of last year and January of this year showed negative month-over-month -month price changes in the level of CPI. And the most recent year-over-year -year figures show EU CPI only up 2.4%. So that's gonna keep the differential between the weakness in the euro and the strength of the dollar likely going in the same direction as the ECB has a better case for stable inflation than does the US.